Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me Mark. In today's video I wanted to show you how to uninstall BleemSync 1.0 on your PlayStation Classic. Now for those of you that want a fresh PlayStation Classic console or you've had enough of it and you want to sell it, you can remove those files that were added as part of the 1.0 build. It is all on the Mod My Classic website so make sure you drop on over to there. I will leave the link in the description below. So I've bought myself a fresh USB stick for this purpose and as you can see here the instructions of how to uninstall the BleemSync files are right here. So I'm going to pop my USB stick in which is brand spanking new and apart from the fact it's got some SanDisk stuff on it I will be formatting that very shortly. So all you have to do is download the uninstall image as it says here, click on that save the file if you're using Chrome you'll be saving this to your desktop or something like that you it will ask you where you want to save it open that zip file and you'll see this image file right here so what you have to do with that image file is you have to burn it to the USB stick as you can see here they've given a example of a program that can do it etcher and you can click on that link there and download it so there are a bunch of other programs that you can use to do this burning of a image file to your USB but this one is pretty darn good so let's open this up let's install it and then we'll get on with it so once that's installed you will be presented with this window all you have to do at this stage is click on select image and then find the image file this uninstalled image file that you downloaded before let me just pop on over to my desktop and I should have the uninstall image right there so once you click on that it will come up uninstall.img 41.94 megabytes and then it will say where do you want it to go so you have to click on this and choose your USB drive now be very very careful with this because you may find that this chooses another drive for you so just be ultra careful at this stage to make sure that you're choosing the right drive now the way you can check is to go back on over to your Windows Explorer and just double check what drive letter your new USB is. If you're at all worried just unplug it and plug it back in and what you'll see is that pop up there you go USB E. Okay so this has chosen E by default which is great so if I do continue you can see it there E. Click on flash once it's done it unmounts it and you will see flash complete one successful device. At this stage unplug your USB and plug it into your PlayStation Classic. Make sure the power is out of your PlayStation Classic as always when you're doing this. Plug the USB stick in, then plug your power in. So click on over to your PlayStation Classic and let's switch it on. As it says on the website, let's look at this just to make sure you're doing it right. Completely unplug everything from your console and insert the USB in port 2. Plug in the power and press the power button once the LED is orange. Okay, so the LED is orange on my PlayStation. Press power. This should only take a very short time and the LED should go out and back to orange when done. Okay, so I'm watching my LED back to orange and it looks like we're done. So the thing to note at this point is, remember before when you couldn't power your PlayStation Classic from your PC, you were gonna have to unplug the USB and plug it into a proper power source, a power plug as before. Very annoying, but uninstalling those files does this to your PlayStation Classic. So now that you've plugged it into a power source, make sure to unplug the USB from the PlayStation Classic. Then power it on as though it were day one. If you have any problems with it at that point, make sure just to pull the power out and plug it back in and then try and boot it again. Here we go, it's back to normal. Oh my god, look at this. The original, look at this. No games, no extra games. We are on the standard build right here. All those files have been taken off. Uninstall, done. So guys, that is it. That's all you have to do. Thank you for coming along today. I hope this has been useful. Make sure to like the video if you've enjoyed it and it's been helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you next time.